What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Zappo Stories video. It's your boy Joe Vaughn and I hope you guys are doing well out there. We're back with another week of working from home and in today's episode we'll be contacting Chrissy Danger to tell y'all how she maintains company culture while working from home. Let's go ahead and give her a call to find out how things went. Chrissy, what's up? How are you? Hi, Jovan. Um, I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. Um, another day in the twilight zone, another day in work from homeland. Thank you for hopping on the line with us today. I appreciate you hanging. Uh, how are you holding up and adjusting uh, to working from home? Good. You know, it's a work in progress. Like, luckily for me, I've actually worked from home and or my work has been work from home for several years. Um, so that was a nice, easy transition because I'm pretty much used to doing that anyway. Um, but what I really realized was I, I go into Zappos regularly because I need the people and I need the energy and I need the culture. Yeah, and that's kind of the whole point of this conversation. I know culture is a really important thing for Zappos and trying to maintain that as we work remote is challenging. Um, but for your actual department that you work in, can you actually explain what Brandora is and what your role is uh, within that department? Brandora is in general experiential marketing. So the major word there being experience. And so I know a lot of us um, in our team and in our roles are used to putting on really incredible experiences and in-person events. And so for our team in general, it's been a huge, huge focus um, to innovate on those types of events and, and to change how we're doing those. I hold a bunch of different roles that do a bunch of different things. Um, but right now, one of my main focuses um, is our virtual and digital engagement strategy for our team. Um, it's sort of leading up our team's virtual culture um, and making sure that that stays strong and connected no matter where we are and no matter how long this lasts. For the audience that's actually watching, how could you explain uh, Zappos' culture? Uh, what makes it unique? A lot of times we call ourselves the Zappos family. I really believe that. We are a Zappos family. And when I get to be around our employees, around our coworkers, whether it's virtually or in person, um, it, it feels like family. It feels like home. Why is our culture important to maintain as we're kind of going through these really difficult times right now? You know, it's no secret that isolation can breed mental health issues, sadness, depression, anxiety. I mean, with everything that's going on in our world and then also with these sort of um, mandated social distancing and quarantining orders, which are awesome and so, so important. And I'm so proud um, to see people adhering to those measures. Um, but in that same vein, that it's even more important for us to step up our cultural engagement and support. Uh, in what ways has working from home altered our company culture? The Zappos office and campus are amazing because they're sort of set up and engineered and designed to support all of these different elements of our culture. And so I think sometimes we take it for granted that say we have a bistro in a coffee shop and we can go grab coffee or grab lunch with our friends or our teams whenever we want, or we can just pop by and check in and say hello to people. And, um, and I think being being virtual, being remote has forced us to be a lot more intentional about those connections. And I think that's a really good thing. I think that's a really healthy and positive thing. One of the things that's been really interesting for me to see as a participant is some of the activities and things that you've been doing just to try and help uh, keep this culture alive. But would you be able to talk a little bit about some of those activities? What are some of the things you're doing for Brand Aura to make sure you're nurturing this culture and that it continues while we work remote? 
our team knows that every Tuesday at 11 a.m. we've got round table. Every Wednesday from 10 to 2 we have bingo. Every Thursday at 4 we've got happy hour. Every Friday we've got book club at 1. And so I think having that and keeping it regular and consistent um, is extremely, extremely helpful. And it also helps our employees who are working home from for maybe the uh, working from home for maybe the first time um, help to sort of design their weekly schedule and routine as well. As for your colleagues or the rest of the teams that's been here, what is some of the feedback that you've been hearing about people who've been participating in these culture activities? Our team had a deep, deep need to connect with each other. And, and maybe that was a need that existed even before this started. And, and now because this has started and because we're being um, so intentional about it, um, I think we've identified, you know, some, some areas where we could have been doing better on culture already. And, and so I think we're improving on those now. If slash when we get back to the office, uh, how will you continue this momentum? I actually hope to keep all of these things going and who knows, we'll iterate from there. You know, maybe one week we'll do in-person events, the next week will be virtual, or maybe we'll divide. Half will be virtual, half will be in person. Um, but I wanna keep this same intentionality going um, towards our culture because I feel like it has already helped us a lot and I feel like we can keep, yeah, we can keep this momentum going um, when we're together as well. Just to finish things out, what are you doing at home uh, to stay sane or trying to keep your productivity up? What are some of the things you're doing? Creating a schedule for myself has really helped and and having these brand or cultural events that I have to show up for, that I have to do, that I have to facilitate, um, has been so helpful in keeping me moving forward, keeping me on track, and, um, and keeping me purposeful. This has been really cool um, getting able to chat with you as well as be able to participate in these events. I just want to say kudos to you and continue keeping this culture alive as we work remote because it seems like it's been an indefinite period right now and who knows when we'll be able to get back to the office. But I will say from me to you, it has been felt on this end that you are trying hard to make sure that this is top priority. And thank you so much. I mean, thank you for being such an enthusiastic participator and for being such an awesome example to people in Brandora of like how you can pivot, how you can be agile, how you can be resilient, and how you can make new things work right away. Um, I just think you've been an awesome thought leader and example and cheerleader in that space. Um, and so I'm just so grateful to you. So <laughs> thank you for doing what you do. Oh, well, I appreciate that much, and uh, hopefully we'll stay connected here as the days go on. I'm looking forward to the next bingo session here, but uh, again, if you need anything from me, you know where I'm at. Feel free to shoot me a message, but uh, thank you so much for chatting with us today. I hope you stay safe uh, at your house as well. Don't forget to wash your hands, social distance, and uh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. There you go. But I look forward to chatting with you again, and I hope you enjoy the rest of your afternoon, all right? Thank you. Bye, Jovan. Peace. <laughs> Thanks to Chrissy for helping us out with today's video. That was super fun getting to chat with her about what Zappos is doing to maintain company culture. What I'd love to know is what are you guys doing to maintain your company culture if you are working from home? Make sure you're putting that in the comments below. Stay tuned for next week's video, and for everybody that's watching, make sure you guys are comment, liking, and subscribing, and we look forward to seeing y'all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>